I've been living frugally for years and now that I have entered an age where I see a lot of my friends starting to earn good money and then spending all that money, I've started to reflect a lot on why I still want to stay and live frugally. And some of the reasons are actually surprisingly deep. One interesting thing that I have noticed is that now I don't have a lot of things, especially flashy things, to show to people when I'm meeting them, when I am introducing myself. That means that the first impression that I'm giving to people, or the impression in general, it's really the authentic me. Because I don't have anything, basically, in my life that I could show some polished or fake version of myself, like having a super nice car, but actually I cannot afford it. Or <laughs> I have some super fancy clothes, because I don't. I don't have <laughs> any of those. And I believe because of this, the connections that I have made as well are based more on the personality, who I am, and not some sort of status thing. Because I've been living frugally for so long time now, that meant that I was always able to save a little bit of money every month. And when I did that for years, of course, that money started to add up. That led me to make this conscious choice of quitting my job last year. I will not talk more about that in a future video for sure. But what I can say that because of my frugality, I was able to chase my dreams and try to make those become real. I'm now fully making content. I don't have any more a day job or any part-time job, at least for the time being. And I have this freedom. And the frugal living lifestyle was exactly what gave me this. If I had spent all those money to something, even what you could think necessary, going out to eat or spending time with friends, some nice things still, if I always did that, I couldn't be here where I am today. So I had to make some sacrifices, but I don't even see those really as sacrifices because I'm so happy where I am currently. And if I can make this work as I would like to, as a full-time job, then that was definitely worth it. But during my frugal living years, of course, I have still made some investments, that's for sure. But I have invested in things that I really care about. For example, traveling, which is basically the only thing where I want to spend my money. I've been traveling last year to Lapland, or maybe it was two years ago, so northern part of Finland and then to Slovenia last year, and then now I'm going to Italy. And this has been, of course, part of my frugal living strategy that I save money so I could have these trips that are really important for my mental health. And I gain a lot of new knowledge, a lot of new perspectives and get time off from here, what I'm doing on a daily basis. Of course, I could have these travels and have a lot of things in my life, like quitting my job and all that by getting money from somebody else, so going into debt, loaning the money. But I have kind of this rule, it's not really a strict, strict rule, because I understand that there might be some exceptions, but it's basically called the no debt rule. I'm sure many people have the same. The idea is that I want to be able to afford the things that I buy. If I want to have a trip, I want to be able to afford the trip and not go into debt so that I can do that. Because somehow this rule and mindset makes everything simpler for me. When I know that I can only buy this thing when I can afford it. And of course, it at the same time prevents me from buying things that I don't really need. Because if I cannot buy it in that moment, I have to think a lot if I want to buy it or not. I know people who have taken loans to buy, for example, cars, and the interest rate was so bad that they are still paying those years after and they don't even have the car anymore so it ended up being a really bad deal and they are still paying for those and these experiences these stories what i have heard from people that i know they just reinforce this lifestyle and idea what i want to have and i understand that when we are talking about house you want to buy a home this doesn't really apply because then you would have to save i don't know a lot of time, decades, to be able to afford that. And more often than not, that is not wise decision because of the inflation. But the point is here that you think beforehand, is that financially a good investment or not? Will I earn money from making that investment, taking that loan or not? The last time I made a video talking about some of the reasons why I am frugal, one of the struggles I had was people saying that I am cheap, not really understanding why I'm not spending 
money and of course that is still maybe a struggle that I have some people say things like that but I think I have built some confidence now and I don't take any of those things personally I know myself and my lifestyle the best so that's fine but some struggle that I have had recently is related to me feeling guilty about spending money when I am buying something that I know that I kind of need still I have this feeling should I buy this or not I think it's a struggle that many minimalists have in general but I would say that that's a so small thing in the grand scheme of things when I'm thinking about my frugal and minimalist living lifestyle because it has taught me a lot so many things it has forced me to really think what is important to me and how much do I actually need in my life to live a happy life do I need this thing that everybody seems to have or do I need that or do I need anything not having so many things in my life reduces the physical clutter and reduces a lot the mental clutter currently I feel my mind is so clear because I have the simplicity there and certainly I have got a lot of gratitude and appreciation for the clothes and for many other things that I have in my life that are not in amazing condition like for example my laptop is quite bad I still feel amazing that I have that and I'm able to have it still even though it's so old but it works I still have the same phone that I've had for the past five or six years because it works and it makes me feel so good every day that I've been able to have this phone and I've been taking good care for it for so long it's weird I'm not really a person that is attached to things but something has really shifted how I how I view things because certain things in my life have been part of so many experiences that I have had my laptop I've had for the past almost eight years with me and now I'm 27 years old so I got it when I was 19 all my 20s I've had the same thing and it has so many important things in it of my life documented there have been times in my life where I had to survive with little money spent and also many times where I didn't have to but I really wanted to not spend more like overspend and that forced me to improve my problem solving skills and to find some hacks how can I save money here how can I spend even less than I initially thought or I would like to many of these things that I have learned I have actually packaged in my new online course simple life blueprint there's actually a whole lesson about frugal living there where I talk about more rules principles misconceptions tips and tricks when it comes to this frugal living minimalist lifestyle and then I also thought about the next step which is the fact what I was talking about before the social pressure when it comes with this lifestyle choice because it's not that common at least where I live I created a whole lesson in the course also about this thing because I know that it's 95% sure comes with this lifestyle it's not enough to just know how to live it but also how to deal with everything that comes with it this is a shameless plug for my own product because I am so sure that it could help you like it helped Rachel who after taking the course said I have more structure to my life now I believe this course is absolutely valuable instead of watching tons of videos on YouTube I think this one course can put anyone in a good direction absolutely smooth experienced and filled with a sense of fulfillment if you are interested in frugal living minimalism simplifying your life overall this is the course for you the link is in the description my future aspirations and plans when it comes to frugal living is of course to stay frugal and remember that flashy things are for those who want to play the status games and i am not one of those people and then also build a community of like-minded people who have the same aspirations as me and that is my plan with the course that I have created so check it out the link is in the description thank you so much for watching remember to stay kind and meaningful in your own beautiful journey see you in the course or in the next video